Hello friends, uh, we're at the beach again today. I don't know why I didn't predict it would be this windy, but it's actually kind of cold. This week we're talking about things that we created as children. First of all, nothing I really created as a child is here with me in Israel. Um, I mean, maybe things when I was like three, but they're probably stored away at some, uh, some storage place. And then, you know, all things from like eight years old and on are at home in Boston. Um, so I figured I would show you some of my lame scars. So the first scar I'm going to show you is one that's just on my forehead. And this is a scar I got when I like to tell people I got in a fight with somebody and obviously that they should see the other person, the other two people. Actually, the, this is a scar that I got when I had a mole remote. The second scar I'm going to show you is one that's on my ankle. Obviously, I shave frequently. This was actually a protruding mole. Uh, they're all skin ones and it was one that I would shave off essentially every time I shaved my legs which is disgusting um, so eventually I went to the dermatologist and she said I should just freeze it off or whatever they do with it the last scar I'm gonna show you is one that's on my hands and I got it when big surprise I got a wart removed there's a sort of phase when you get your warts removed the wart sort of like bubbles and and under it this giant blister forms it's really beautiful and basically, um, in the process of getting this wart removed, when the blister was still fresh and juicy, um, it got popped, and there was blood, and there was pus, and uh, <laughs> there's a slight uh, faint scar left over from that. I wish I was cooler or more of a badass as a kid. Once when I was like 16 or something, I walked through a swarm of yellow jackets, and one of them stung me just like, right on the thigh. I don't know, does that get me badass points? Megan, um, I really wanted to dedicate this vlog to you because I know that you've been having sort of a hard time of it. You're coming out with a new album which I think is so amazing and so inspiring and God, so many people want to do that and you actually sat down and wrote an entire album and it's now being, being produced in an environmentally friendly way which is fucking awesome. Obviously you're entitled to have your bad days or your bad weeks or your bad months, just know that we all support you and uh, we all really look up to you. This week I really want to tell you about an amazing conference that's going on on March 27th through March 29th. It's called WAM, Women Media, Women Action Media, and it's going to be in Boston. This really, really amazing nonprofit called Center for New Words puts it on. Basically, it's a conglomeration of women writers and filmmakers and cartoonists and journalists who are doing a lot with their lives and really want to pass on the knowledge and really want to inspire and really want to teach. I went for the first time last year and it was just like three days of complete inspiration. I actually only really went for two days last year but it was just like just being inspired left and right. Anybody who can sign up to go, go. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the sidebar with all the information that you need and sign up for it and go and if you can all go as a group I think that would be really fun. We've sort of been trying to figure out ways that everybody can meet each other or, or some people can meet um, and this is one of those conferences I think that would be a really really great opportunity to have an awesome weekend.